This episode is brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com, where the best drinks begin. And Cavallino Tequila, rated best. Welcome to the Sunday Night Shooters edition of Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Somer. This week, we're going to do the French kiss. This is not only something we already had planned, but one of the people, I believe it was on YouTube, one of our users commented and said, hey, you guys should do the French kiss. And so we're going to do it. Just wanted to also just thank everybody that's been commenting on all the different sites. I, It's awesome. I, it makes me want to do more shows such that I even went out and bought this, Bernjäger. This is a honey liqueur from Germany that we're going to use maybe either next week or the week after. I don't know. Somebody sent me a recipe that needed it, so I went out and bought it. So stay tuned for that. So if you want to do one of these Pousse Cafe layered shots, you can go pick that up for a couple weeks from now. This is a layered shot. We're going to have creme de coco. We're going to have some Rono, Amaretto, and Bailey's. This seems to be in every one of these drinks. <laughs> Whatever. Irish cream for the win. So what we're going to do is we're going to first put in the amaretto. Then we're going to sink the the cocoa, the creme de cocoa, r- right to the bottom, which is going to push the amaretto up, and then the Bailey's on top. And the cool thing is they're all going to be a half ounce, but they don't look that way in the glass. It's science. I'm not, I never was really good at science. So let's get going. We're going to start with the amaretto. You could pour that right into either a cordial glass, a shot glass, uh, something thin that looks cool. We're going to use the awesomedrinks.com shot glass. We're going to use a spoon to layer it so that we have some control. So what we'll do is control our way to dropping the creme de coco at the bottom as politely as we can. We don't want to disturb the force too much. That was a geek joke. Sorry. See, I don't know. Hopefully everybody else can see it, but I don't know if I'm doing it right yet. Because I'm looking at it from the top. Boom. All right. So we got number two. That's That looks pretty cool. kind of looks like a beer without a head. Just like a light, like a maybe a Coors Light. So we'll drop the Baileys on top, hopefully. Sorry for the awkward silence. This is a extremely difficult mission. Could probably use a bigger spoon. The bar spoon's a little small. Oh, failure. Got a little on a, made a little mess. That's okay. Jennifer, you're gonna do the zoom. Check it out. Oh yeah, there's a little, slight mistake. There's a little, little tornadoes floating around inside. But what you're getting is a, a very light head to a dark gold color right down to clear. It just blends right in. I, I like the way it does that. It just kind of blends there. Now, the, if you notice, they're all half ounce, but doesn't it look like the, the creme de coco is almost consuming the entire glass, even though it's the same measurement? They just compress so well on top of each other. And then that little guy sits right on top, our Baileys. Now, this is a drink I haven't tried. This is Jennifer's deal. She she did the test. She gave me the thumbs up to do it. So I've never actually had a French kiss before. That doesn't sound good. I've never had this drink before. But I'm gonna now. There you go, that's your French kiss. Whoa. Hmm. Yeah, the you mentioned the burn. There is a burn. It goes right up the nut the not the nasal passages. Just straight down and up. It's like an explosion in your mouth. I do taste the amaretto though, like on the mid palate. You get the a coating of the Baileys, it just coats your tongue. Very similar to the creams and like a, the frostbite we did last time. And after it coats, I get the, the nutty amaretto uh, flavors, which are pretty neat. And then you get that, just the, the coffee, chocolate, 
kiss, kind of like Hershey's kiss, milk chocolate type of effect. So you kind of get all that at once with it, just a hint of amaretto, and right after it's finished, boom, it's like this burn, nasal passages, throat, all the way. I don't know which one's doing that. I'm gonna guess the amaretto because it's got that that twang. I don't think any of these these are so subtle. I don't I don't remember getting burned from either of those. But it goes away really quick, so it's not like you're gonna be choking. It's not like you just did a shot of aftershock, so that's not so bad. There you go, an empty glass. That's the French kiss. Make sure you go to everydaydrinkers.tv. Check out our contest. Sign in, write a comment. You will be entered to win the random drawing for two tiki glasses from awesomedrinks.com. Check out our sponsor, Cavalino Tequila. This stuff is awesome. And you know when I say awesome, I mean it. I like all the comments about people making fun of me saying awesome. That's great. Um, I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and we're teaching you how to drink.